happy Monday. Um, I'm at camp. But my airbed went completely flat in the night. And uh, my hips and my back and my neck did not like that. I didn't sleep very well at all. Um, <laughs> ow. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what is wrong with me. Don't get me wrong, I know I didn't sleep well last night. But all we did this morning was watch the girls do air rifle and have um, breakfast and lunch. And after lunch, I just felt really, really nauseous. And my tummy hurt. And I just came to lie down for a sec and like, I've had like an hour and a half nap. <sighs> hey guys, um, had some tummy issues tonight. No idea why. Um, I was bloated out. A couple of the girls were like, "Are you pregnant too, Jenny?" Because one of our other leaders is pregnant. Um, so no, because I wasn't like that this morning. <laughs> but anyway, it was painful, but. A shower sorted that out. Um, I'm just off to sleep. We are off to Chessington in the morning, so I'll see you there. Morning, guys. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more human for having some makeup on and having had a shower last night. Um, but this morning, I have pulled a muscle in the kind of hip, back of my hip region, and it's really, really sore. Um, sorry, it's just twinged again, going over something. Um, yeah, it's really, really uh, quite painful. Uh, I don't think it should be this painful. But anyway, hopefully that won't mar my day. I've got my walker, so hopefully it will be all good. I'll see you at Chessington. Why on earth does it tip it down every single time that I come to Chessington World of Adventures? It's like I'm cursed. Um, I'm getting very wet, but the girls seem to still be having fun. Um, my hip still hurts. I will uh, see you a little bit later. It's a little bit dry for about two seconds. It's literally been raining on and off all day. I'm watching some of the little ones uh, going on the smaller rides while the others wait in bigger queues. Um, so yeah, just chilling. Hopefully the weather stays okay. I can deal with this. Um, though my walker has become a bag carrier. I will see you guys a little bit later back at camp probably. Morning guys. Sorry I didn't speak to you last night. I was so shattered um, after we'd had dinner. I got into bed and pretty much went straight to sleep. Um, I am very sore. I'm very tired this morning. Uh, my back and my hip are uh, in a lot of pain but I think that's mostly from sleeping. Though obviously the day out yesterday didn't help matters too much. Um, I, uh, I better get up and get dressed. Uh, the girls had a fab time at Chessington, uh, so did I. I even went on uh, the new Tiger Rock water flume, two of the girls convinced me, um, and we got on literally just before it closed, and barely any of the other girls got on it. Um, so we've called it the secret ride, so don't tell anyone. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. Uh, but most of the time I was sitting out in solidarity with our uh, our other leader who is pregnant and couldn't go on a single thing. So I only went on a couple of things, but I was feeling rough and didn't want to feel too rough to carry on for the rest of camp. Um, I will see you a little bit later. We've got kayaking and land zorbing today, so I don't know how much I'll do, but we'll see. Morning guys, um, yesterday was a very very long day and um, so I decided yesterday that as my stepdad is coming past this morning that um, it was easier to go home today rather than wait until tomorrow. Um, I'm just, it was doing some very good pacing on my part. I'm just completely exhausted and in a hell of a lot of pain and it's my mum's 60th birthday at the weekend so I decided it was a good idea to go home and get some rest and recover. Sorry that's a, that's a joke trying to wake the kids up. Um, it, it was a better idea to, um, to go home and rest and recover so that I can enjoy that fully and make that special for my mum. 
Um, so yeah, I'd better get up and get back in. I'm very glad to be home. Um, I'm absolutely, absolutely shattered. I'm gonna find me some dinner and um, have a shower probably if I have enough energy. And if not, just go to sleep. A long, long sleep. I'm cooking some dinner now, but I don't really feel like I want it. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this tummy situation. It's not been great all week, don't get me wrong, but like I've just had some awful disgusting wind and just you know it's not been good all week and obviously I had that episode the other day where I rivaled a pregnant lady in her pregnancy and again just look at that bump like where's it coming from what am I doing wrong uh. <laughs> um I am <laughs> Um, good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, I'm very glad that I came home yesterday. And uh, I just caught up on Love Island and uh, came to bed. At first I couldn't get to sleep, but then realised I didn't have my way to blanket. And as soon as I had that on, I went straight to sleep. Um, it's quite amazing, really. Um, and... I've been lying here awake for a good half hour, so I should probably get up and get on. But I still feel completely exhausted. Uh, my brain feels slightly more awake. My body does not. <laughs> I'll see you a bit later. What is that? I'm just shattered. And I'm getting emotional because I'm shattered. Um, you don't realise how much you use a car until you can't use a car. Um, so now that my car isn't working, there's lots of stuff that I should have done and wanted to do today that I couldn't do. And some of the things I didn't do because it would have take, taken me like over double the time on the bus. Um, but I can't even start looking till Monday because it's my mum's 60th birthday this weekend. And I'm just a little bit stressed and upset about it. I don't know where. I bought her card ages ago and I don't know where I put it. With the present we've got her, she already knows about and already has. So I feel like I haven't got anything to actually give her. And I just feel like I haven't sorted as much as I wanted to. You know, I was 13 when my mum turned 50. So I don't really remember it. And... I, you know, there's nothing that I remember now about it. So for her 60th, I kind of wanted to to give her and do something that she'd remember by her 70th. And I just haven't achieved that, you know, because I've been so non-stop and I just feel so guilty about it. And today I haven't been able to do much to help. And it's, you know, early evening, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. I just feel like I want to curl up in bed and go to sleep. You know, having a shower and eating dinner took most of my energy. I'm just so tired. So tired. Of course, it's the morning of my mum's first birthday parties. My eyes have blown up um, and they're very sore. And uh, everything is very, very sore. Just everything in my body feels tender. Um, and my neck and my back are really struggling to move them. Um, oh, I don't know what to, what to do. I just thought 
after a day off yesterday this would be a bit better now my boom and bust is out of control hey guys sorry i haven't really spoken to you today i've not been feeling very well i've had a really bloated stomach pretty much from when i woke up for no real reason um and i've just been in a lot of pain and very exhausted however i managed to go out i couldn't find the card that i got mum from ages ago so i managed to go out and find another one and get her a little gift as well so i feel a lot better about that now i'm all ready because part is going on downstairs <laughs> and i'm fashionably late um so yeah also i forgot to put my contacts in before i did my makeup so i didn't want to ruin my makeup so now i just can't see but it's fine <laughs> um hopefully the party will all go nicely do it when you see us from that corner, okay? Don't fall out of the door. Watch me fall out of the door. I think it would ruin it because it looks so pretty. Looks quite an unhappy birthday. Hey guys, um, I'm very very tired and going to get some sleep. Um, it's been an enjoyable evening but of course the kind of what's next for you questions and the you look really well um, always makes me feel a bit meh. Um, but I'm glad I got through today after a teary stressed out morning of not feeling very well at all and being in a lot of pain and being very tired um everything kind of thankfully came together um but i am gonna get some sleep because we've got to do it all again tomorrow i'll see you then once again my eyes are really swollen and really sore um and i really didn't sleep very well i woke up at about half one and just tasted sick um it was not fun um and yeah Again, I'm just completely, completely whacked out and sore. Um, and it's way too late for me to get up already and it's my mum's birthday. Mm -hmm. I will try and get up. <sighs> oh, I'm really struggling to get up. But at least my eyes are calming down a little bit, I think. I don't know what's going on with them. I'm glad I've got that um, specialist booked. Well, sort of booked. Um, I just tried to get up and my back and my neck were like, no. Um, but this is what I find so frustrating. Like, I don't know if I said this last night. But all last night, all of my mum's friends were like, Oh, you look so well, you look great, and they don't realise how many pills I've popped, and, you know, how I was in tears for most of the morning because I was so frustrated and in a lot of pain and just so exhausted, and that's what I kind of need to 
I want to get out there in the world because obviously there's certain things like your mum's 60th birthday that you push through and you take more tablets than usual and you make that extra effort um even if you're feeling really 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 rubbish and then the consequences are you feel rubbish the next day and obviously it's her actual birthday today so i have to do another day of pushing through before i crash a bit next week and it's not a healthy way to live but it means people think that you're more well than you are because you look better you know it was funny for my neighbors to see me because i went they'd seen me kind of crawl out to the bus with my walker earlier in the day and then saw me at the evening kind of wandering around with a full face of makeup on. Um, but yeah, my throat is really sore. I really hope that I'm not getting, I really hope I'm not getting my stepdad's cold on top of this. That would not be good timing. Hey guys, I'm feeling a little bit better. Now I've had some painkillers um, and other tablets, um, but I am now all ready. Uh, I need to brush my hair, but apart from that, I'm all ready for Mum's actual birthday <laughs> for celebrations, Mark do, and I'm wearing the dress that she wore for her 18th birthday, which I think is pretty cool. It doesn't quite fit, my boobs are a little bit big, but it's fine. <laughs> Thankfully, since I had to cancel some plans for next week, I am now going to be settling back to normal. Thank goodness. Um, I've had a rough week, I've not felt well, things have gone wrong, but um, hopefully we can start building back to some form of normality. Um, so I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me on this other mad week and all the mad weeks for the last you know lots of weeks um, but anyway spoons and love to all you guys if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already i'd love it if you hit subscribe i will see you next week